SS teacup. Great. Just what I wanted to take a ride on. Chapter 7, locating the gate. SS teacup. Those pirate Doombas. And the... Those are clappers, aren't they? You bastard. Pirate Doombas. Those are barrels that you can run through, except for the bottom. More clappers, meaning you can't swim under the map. I guess that's a precautionary <laughs> measure. A door. We're in the ship. The SS Teacup. A ship I would never want to be caught dead sailing on. Oh god. Uh -huh. I'm feeling a little bit better. Are these like windows or just not? Feeling a little bit better, not completely. But uh, at least well enough to do a video, or a few videos, I should say. Mostly just been uh, going to work and sleeping a lot. Oh, this is a giant stupid maze of just doors. Is that a thwomp? With clappers, that's great. A vine? Is there a vine here? No vine? Nope, but there is a feather. Okay, that was pretty pointless, considering I already had a feather. But whatever. Whatever you say, guy. So far, the design has been questionable in some parts. Sometimes it's been, I guess, decent to good. A lot of times because it's mimicking an actual level that was in a real game. So I can't be like, oh, this design sucks. And then be like, yeah, I love playing... Don't even tell me, I just... Oh, I just went backwards, didn't I? Is this like a choose the door kind of stupid thing? It, I hate these. I hate these so much. Pick the right door forever, go in a circle. Thanks a lot. That's just what I wanted to do. No, I get the feeling I've already been there. This looks different. Oh look! Are we missing something due to sprites again? Like a like a Yoshi or a vine perhaps? I think so, and I don't think I have enough room to run here. Oh. Let me guess. This was supposed to be like a vine. But since his Damn it. Since his sprites are screwed up. Or he has too much crap going on, it's not becoming what it's supposed to be. Whatever, I might not have needed it anyway. Can I go over this? Nope. Definitely cannot. As long as it doesn't impede <laughs> well, as long as it doesn't impede my progress as to where I'm supposed to be going to get to the end, I really don't care. I don't care what secret was up there. You really have to make sure that your stuff, uh, kind of shows up. Otherwise, the person trying to play it can't beat it. Like in your stupid watermelon mountain level. Which was horrible. My friends don't watch my videos that much, but they saw that video and they decided to spread that around to everyone because it was so horrible. You know it's bad when my friends do that because they don't even play these or watch these Mario ones. Not often, at least. So, when they start when they start spreading that around, you know it's pretty bad. It's the worst Mount Fuji I ever saw. It's like a horrible watermelon mountain thing. Where are we going? That's it. That was I climbed the ship to get to. Well, how was that supposed to help me get to the next level? Do I become, like, the captain and I can sail it wherever the hell I want? This makes no sense. I get to the top of a ship and now I can go to a tube. The mystery tube, if you will. Oh, the Cave of Footmen. Wow, that's great. This sounds like it's gonna be a real... Classic.
Well, I guess I'm gonna have to put another warning, uh, <laughs> or at least a warning, because uh, once again, I had to change the audio thing. So now the first five minutes of this video is gonna be stupid. Anyway, hopefully, I'll probably go upload this video right when I'm done, just so I remember to put that warning. And that was around the five minute mark, so that's good. Damn it. You know what, I kind of deserve that for not being able to jump correctly. Oh. There's a kudos moon up there. I really don't want it, so I won't take it. Don't tell me I'm trapped in here. Okay. So yes, I probably will be uploading this right after. Just so that I remember to, uh put that little disclaimer okay well this level's not bad I don't know if it's like a real level it looks like it could be from Yoshi's Island I don't know actually oh look there's always an obligatory like part where you have to use a star to get past the huge clapper maze that's in like every hack I play Oh, and you have to chain the star. Even better. I don't know why people think, think this is like the greatest idea that ever was. At least I don't have to do a whole lot of like jumping around and up down crap. At least it was just a straight run shot. Huh. <sighs> Alright, Warzone Area 1. Oh, let me guess, Super Mario Bros. 3. Except this doesn't move. My guess is, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 remake. I keep getting shot in the face. That's no man's dream ever. No man wants to get shot in the face, bullet or other. And I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Oh god. Ugh. Oh, come on, that was bull. Oh, what are those? Like spikes or God damn it. Uh just, just gonna sit here. You know what? You can blow up. Blow up. Just blow up. Thank you. Now we're moving. Now we're moving somewhere. With these stupid spike things. Alright. Alright. Okay, don't get shot in the face. Tube. Yep. What is this? Whatever. I got a free fire flower. Ha ha! Oh, damn it. Completely. F I thought that might have been like a little track I could run on, but apparently I should have figured that it wasn't. Oh well. Shit happens. Guess I'll be doing a little bit of somewhat pinpoint jumping here. Not raw. I got greedy and thought I could jump over the ghost. But I got a feather out of it, so it really doesn't matter. I didn't lose much. Oh look, there's a uh, key. Alright, ooh, another feather, alright. I'll take it. Well, before I jump into another level, I think I'm going to end it here, and then uh, go render this stuff out so I can put that little disclaimer. So I don't forget and piss a bunch of people off again, so I'll see you in a little bit.